everyone and welcome back i have told this story in some of my other videos but i wanted to do a special dedicated video to this story because some people still don't know that this happened we all know about the 2015 miss universe blunder where steve harvey announced the wrong winner then crowning the wrong woman then having to take the crown and sash away from Miss Columbia who thought she won Miss Universe. But what some people, even those in the pageant world, don't know is that this happened at Miss Universe Canada 2013. If you've been following and watching my videos for a while, you know that I competed at Miss Universe Canada 2013 and I placed as first runner up, Teresa Santos. But on the final night, I was initially announced as second runner up. So when I was announced as second runner up and then the two left standing was Denise Garrido and Riza Santos, I was a little bit shocked, not because I have anything against Denise, but during that question and answer, Denise did not give a strong final answer. At least I, that was my opinion. And then they announced Riza as first runner up and Denise as the new Miss Universe Canada. I was shocked, some of the girls were shocked, and I talked to a couple of the judges after and they were shocked. I was quite upset, not because I didn't win, but because I just felt like Riza was the deserving winner and I was so confused because I thought maybe something went on behind the scenes because like, why were things not aligning? What was going on? And disclaimer, Denise Garrido is one of the nicest people I have ever met in my life. She is so sweet, she's so kind. Like she is almost kind to a fault. She is just so nice, so sweet. But in terms of like performance and t the winner, I just thought Riza Santos was going to win that night. Another important part of the story is that Denise had won Miss World Canada, Miss Earth Canada, and if she were to win Miss Universe Canada, that would make her one of the only people in history to ever win all of those pageants in Canada. And she was also at the age out limit. So this was her last chance to compete for Miss Universe Canada. Exact same thing with Riza. Riza had won Miss World Canada, Miss Earth Canada. This was her last opportunity to compete at Miss Universe Canada. So if she was going to win, she would also make history. Denise Garrido gets crowned Miss Universe Canada and I fly back to Saskatchewan and then I get a call from the director of Miss Universe Canada saying that there had been a mistake. There was a tabulation error. Denise Garrido was not Miss Universe Canada. She was in fact the third runner-up. I was the first runner-up and Riza Santos was Miss Universe Canada 2013. What's more heartbreaking about this whole situation is that Denise Garrido had her official photo shoot as Miss Universe Canada. She did some interviews all to have it taken away and um, yeah, wow, it ended up being a huge story. And I remember seeing, I think it was like CNN or I don't even know what it was. Both those women on there and actually Riza had flown to Vegas like the next day after Miss Universe Canada. So she was on TV from Vegas and it was just an absolute gong show. Also remember, this was 2013 and in 2012, was a whole other drama scene for Miss Universe Canada, the Miss Universe Canada organization. Jenna Takalova was competing that year. She was a non-naturally born woman. She was not naturally born a female. And she was then kicked out of the competition, then welcomed back to the competition because Miss Universe then changed the rules within like a very short period of time to allow her to compete in Miss Universe Canada. Sahar Binyaz won, but she didn't go to Miss Universe. A few days before Miss Universe, she allegedly hurt her ankle which the rumor has it is that she actually was older than she claimed to be therefore not eligible to actually compete at Miss Universe. Somehow she forged her passport or something like that when she was signing up for Miss Universe Canada. I don't really know the full story but she showed up to Miss Universe Canada 2013 to like pass the title. She did the photo shoot with Fadil and then she left. She came there for the first day, we kind of saw her and then she pieced right out. She did not show up like to the final night to pass the crown. She was not there for any of the festivities. She released a video saying something about like thanking some choreographer who was her director, who wasn't the real director. So that was a whole gong show. And then here we are on the final night of that Miss Universe Canada 2013 where Sahara is supposed to be passing the title and they announced the wrong order. Like I don't even understand still how it happened because how do you go from announcing one girl's the winner and then she's the third runner up? Like I am confused, I don't understand. But after this all happened, Denise was very gracious. They, you know, took 
they didn't really take the title away from her because she didn't actually win it to begin with. Ariza was awarded the title that she earned in Calgary, Alberta, her hometown. And then we all went on the Beauties of Canada tour trip thing in Nicaragua. And on that trip, I found out that they were supposed to be, I think, flying to New York. I don't want, like, these are not maybe the exact facts, so it's something like this. Denise and Riza were supposed to be flying to New York to do like a Dateline interview or something like that, like some sort of big like 2020 or Dateline, one of those shows, but they wanted to investigate into what happened. And as soon as they're, they were supposed to be investigating, suddenly the trip got canceled. So there just seems to be a few red flags, something went awry, we don't know. I don't know if someone behind the scenes wanted Denise to win and they bumped her up or someone didn't want Riza to win so they bumped her down. I don't really know what happened, nobody really knows what happened, but I feel like of all times to double, triple, quadruple check something, being right, it's when there's like a final tabulated result. So what it says on wiki is Riza Santos was the actual winner during the validation of computerized scoring results which occurred the following day a typo was discovered in the top five entries so wiki is saying that during the validation of the computerized scoring which occurred the following day which seems very weird why would you validate the scores like the next day but maybe they were validating the scores because there were judges who were upset saying like this is not who we chose as the winner I'm not 100% sure but they discovered that there was a significant error which then jumbled everything up. That's the story of Miss Universe Canada 2013, them crowning the wrong Miss Universe Canada, and then having to try and fix it, however you best fix something like this. So I wanna take a quick thank you for all of your support. You guys have done something for me that I didn't even know that I could do, I guess. I don't know if you guys notice things like this, but we have about 94,000 subscribers right now, which means that we're starting to get close to 100,000 subscribers, which is so, so crazy to me. I just cannot believe it still. I just started putting out some videos for fun, Miss Universe 2018, and here we are at almost 100K. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and let's see how quickly we can get to the 100K mark and have a big celebration. Maybe we can do like a virtual live celebration. That would be fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.